Hey guys, Joe Tenney here at Infinity of Kirkland in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle, taking a look at a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland that was just traded in here at Infinity of Kirkland. Now, 2011 is a new look for the Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee, and you might notice it bears more than a passing resemblance to the uh, competing Mercedes ML, and there's a reason why. There was a period of time when Mercedes and uh, Chrysler, the entire Chrysler group, which includes Jeep, were actually one and the same company. And so during the early development of this vehicle, they also planned on building this to be the same as the Mercedes ML. The two companies went their separate ways, but the die had already been cast as far as moving forward with this particular body style of Jeep. And so it's a Jeep that bears quite a lot in common with its Mercedes counterpart. Now, Two uh, engine choices in this. This one's a 3.6 liter uh, six cylinder engine. You can either get six cylinder or eight cylinder. Six cylinder is 290 horsepower. I personally would prefer normally to get the eight cylinder, especially because it does have more power than the six, but the eight only gets 13 miles per gallon in the city. And it's just, not that the six gets that much better at 16 miles per gallon, it's just 13 is like, ah, 13 just sounds way too low for me. And so though I prefer V8 power in general, uh, on the Jeep, I think I would prefer to go with uh, at least 16 miles per gallon and still 290 horsepower in the six cylinder. Now this is an Overland. Overland just means it's got every single option that you could possibly get. The Laredo is kind of like the rental car version. You see a lot of them uh, as rental car returns with cloth seats and, and no real equipment. And then you can add equipment to that, like leather and moonroof and all those goodies. The Limited comes with leather and moonroof and all the goodies. And then you can add some nice features to it as well, adjustable suspension, panorama moonroof and that sort of thing. And so the Overland comes with everything that's optional on the Limited and then has a look a little bit uh, all its own. And so let's take a look at that look, a great looking car. It's one of the best looking uh, uh, more utilities in, in this genre that there is, the, that kind of mid chunky size sport utility. They always look nice with the bigger wheels and the Overland comes exclusively with the largest wheels that uh, Jeep offers. Again, it just, it makes the, the entire vehicle look great. This one has fully adjustable suspension and then height adjustable suspension as well. And so that extra little rise there, it just gives it a, a nice look. Inside, really a great looking interior with uh, perforated leather and then the Overland comes with a, a wood steering wheel, wood and leather combination steering wheel and it's got nice wood accents throughout, nice leather accents throughout, just a really really nice interior. Jeeps, they're obviously known for being rugged, Overland is going to be the most rugged of them all but inside honestly they're actually very sumptuous. Let's come take a look around and back. Again, when you're getting an Overland, you're getting everything. So rear view camera, power lift gate. This one is set up for tow. The uh, subwoofer, it's got an upgraded stereo system with a 30 gigabyte hard drive. And then the subwoofer in the back, you're gonna get all of that uh, on this or any Overland. This one's fully equipped. And then terrific storage. Only two rows of seats on the, uh, on the Grand Cherokees. And so the, uh, for those of you needing that third row, you're gonna need to look elsewhere. But if two rows of seats works, you have a humongous trunk area here, and you can really load this up for bear and still have five people really, really comfortable inside. Let's come take a look inside. Now, the only option that this car doesn't have is the drop-down DVD, but that might not necessarily be a bad thing. When you get the drop-down uh, TV, the DVD, you actually lose the panoramic moonroof. And the panoramic moonroof is one of the signature features of the car. It just makes uh, what's already a very nicely sized vehicle seem much larger when you're out in the real world. You just have such incredible visibility, such incredible natural light coming in. That's a feature I wouldn't want to part with. And so if you have to part with it to get a DVD, I'd rather go in a different direction and get headrest DVDs installed aftermarket as opposed to losing that valuable feature of that panorama roof. Now, the nice stitching uh, all the way through the seats, two-tone piping, uh, kind of like how English luxury cars have, and then uh, uh, two-tone stitching on the dashboard as well. Two different colors on the dash, plus the wood. Just really, really nice. It feels like an expensive car, looks like an expensive car. It drives beautifully. Navigation, the aforementioned uh, 30 gigabyte hard drive storage, heated everything, steering wheel, you name it. This car is absolutely loaded and very, very nice. 
very cool and only 23,000 miles, so wonderful miles as well. If you have any questions about this car, please don't hesitate to give me a call anytime. My name is Joe Tunney. I'm the sales manager here at Infinity of Kirkland. You can call me anytime at 425-821-1600 or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.